Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenny and thank you so much for taking the time to click onto my video. Here I am going to be showing you this amazing huge Dollar Tree haul. I found so many amazing items, name brand items along with food items for only a dollar and a dollar twenty-five. Um, I'm here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and I've only been going to a few of my Dollar Trees lately just because they have been getting so many amazing new items. Now, if you are someone that loves to shop at the Dollar Tree and you just don't get out as much as you would like, so you really don't know what is out there, then always be sure you check out my Come With Me to the Dollar Tree videos that I post throughout the week because those are the videos that you're going to see what is new and what to look out for. I'm pretty good about linking those down below. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'll link that down below as well. For those that are new, I love to give you ideas on how to use a lot of these products in a different way, DIY ideas. I always try to give you some measurements, how big and small these items are. Most likely, I will put those right here when I show you the item instead of verbally telling you. So with all that said, let me dive in and let me show you what I purchased. All right, I am going to start out with this. I am a mom of three dogs and five kids, but kids don't need this. But I actually bought it for my daughter's pup that she has. Um, this is a Nyla Bone Romp and Chomp Treat Toy. Now, for anyone that has ever bought anything like this at a pet store, you know it's close to $10. And I am not kidding you. Now, on this package, it says for moderate and teething puppies what you can do it has like a little treat right there or you can fill it with um, water whatever put it in the um, freezer and it's like an ice cube you can put peanut butter in there you can just do a lot of different things on here um, it says it keeps dogs entertained two times longer safe healthy chewing made in the USA and it's a chicken flavor on the back it does give you um, ideas on how to use it. So yeah, if you have a mild chewer or a puppy and it's a small one because this isn't huge. Yes, this is an amazing find for only a dollar. 25. Yeah, you might have to just stop saying that because we know everything is almost a dollar, dollar 25 here pretty, pretty soon. All right. I am going to show you these. When my husband was with me and we went to the Dollar Tree, they had a huge display of Kellogg's Nutrigrain breakfast bars and Pop-Tarts. Mm -hmm. They had a bunch of different flavors. These are the regular size, so you get a pack of eight and you know these are close to almost $3 at the grocery store because everything, you know, price is up. So when you can find stuff like this at your Dollar Tree for either a dollar or a dollar twenty-five, that is a huge, huge savings. This one, you get eight breakfast bars in three different flavors. You have strawberry, apple cinnamon, and mixed berry. Again, this is a normal size that you would find at any of your grocery stores. And then, of course, the strawberry um, Pop-Tarts. And then my husband also picked out the strawberry flavor. So, yeah, it was just amazing that they had this huge display, like what you would see at, say, Walmart, Meyer, Kroger, wherever that you shop. Um, so, yeah, those were a huge score. Also... They had huge boxes of the Post uh, Cocoa Pebbles, and you get six packs of them. And you get, they're like little uh, grain-free, gluten-free, no, it was gluten-free um, rice cakes. I did not know um, that they were rice cakes, because I thought, oh, it's Fruity Pebbles. Yes, I love Fruity Pebbles, you know. So when I got eating it I'm like this has like no flavor whatsoever yeah that's why 
But these are the little packets. Now these do expire. Well, it says best if used by February 11th of 2022. So these are your little packs that you get. There's all the information on the back. And it's a crispy rice snack, gluten-free. So, oh, and I also want to add, when I found these, it was the regular flavor like a year or so ago. Some Dollar Trees kept it like this, which they are supposed to. But I did notice a few of my Dollar Trees that took each pack out and sold them for a dollar. Always be sure you check your packages when you buy something like that at the Dollar Tree. Because right here it says not labeled for retail sale. So if you see that on a package and you're buying it separate, don't do it. I think it's wrong, but not all of them do it. So that's just something to keep an eye out when you're buying small packets like this. So that said, let me open this up and I'm going to show you what they look like. And they have absolutely really no flavor whatsoever. And they have no scent either. So that's what they looks like. Um, dried up, crispy looking disc thing. So if you are someone that doesn't really care for flavor or anything, well, there you go. I'm going to be giving, I'll, I'll throw this packet away, but I'll give this box to my friend, Linda, and she will give it to her sister um, because she eats gluten-free stuff. So that is going to be a perfect thing to give her. But yes, I think that's a huge score as well for only a dollar. 25. They also have so many things of cereal. Can you believe the price of cereal? Now they have this like this mega size, mega family size or whatever. And it's like five something a box. What? And you don't even get prices anymore in them. But anyway, I found the General Mills. Now these were still a dollar. And they are 9.6 ounce. These right here. These are the Frankenberry. The Frankenberry... And the blueberry were two of my favorite cereals growing up. So when I found that, I'm like, yes, even though I don't have milk, I always eat my cereal dry. Um, and then they had the Munster Mash. So you get all of the flavors right there into one box. Crazy. So you can really score some amazing name brand items throughout the entire store. Just not food. You got toys, you have makeup, all that kind of fun stuff. So there's a lot of people out there that think that Dollar Tree, as I stated many times, think it's all junk. If you want to go to, say, Target and spend $4 for a box of this right here, then my, my, by all means, do it. But if you like to save money and you want to try to make your dollar go a lot further in life, go to the Dollar Tree and look for name brand items down every single aisle because I guarantee you can fill up your basket full of name brand stuff and pay a fraction of the cost you would be paying at another uh, store. Okay, enough of that. I found these close to Christmas time, but like I stated before, Four. A lot of Dollar Tree are still receiving Christmas stuff that didn't make it in time to the store. So you will still be able to find last minute gifts hitting your shelves here in January. But these are four different um, bars of soap. Now I think they stink. They do not smell good whatsoever. Even though if it's a hand soap, whatever, I don't care. But the packaging was absolutely adorable. So, yeah. Ew. Um, but the first one we have here is Crystal Waters Winterberry Scented Hand and Body Soap. These are 2.8 ounce, but I think the packaging are so cute. So if you have like little shelves like that, especially in your bathroom, you can prop it up on your little shelf. I just think it's really, really cute. It just reminds me of stuff my, my grandma would have in her house. The other one is a Crystal, uh, the Crystal Waters Winter Apple scented. So you have that one. And then you have the lavender, which I think is the stinkiest one. And then this one is vanilla bean, the man and woman with the kitty cat 
in the window. I think these are so cute. Love the packaging. Now I'm sure you could probably undo it and cut that out and Mod Podge these pictures maybe on a clear vase, on a picture frame or something else if you didn't want to keep it the way it came. I just think these are so cute and I had to get one of each even though you guys actually really stink. But Okay, um, they're Valentine's stuff. Again, so many cute wooden DIY items that you can paint or color. So I thought the strand of teddy bears, I wish they had five bears. I guess I could probably buy another strand. I didn't think about that because I have five kids. I would love to do one bear for each kid or I can just add another strand and just take one away. Yeah for my three dogs and five kids, I think. But look how cute those are. They had, I think, four different strands of hearts and that, but these are all the teddy bears. They do come apart really easy, so you don't have to keep it the way they come. And then if you wanted to strain them different, you can, or do something else with them. But I love their wooden items that you can customize yourself. I thought this sign was really cute. It says, they see me rolling, they hate look at that with the rolling pin it's like engraved like i think that's what i'm trying to think of so i thought that one was really cute they had about four different ones i do believe and these are over with all their picture frames and everything um they are getting easter stuff out yes i said easter now i don't think i could be wrong but I don't think they had this size last year. And I don't recall it being Crafter Square brand. Now, again, I could be wrong. But these are the Crafter Square for um, twine large carrots. I'll put the size right here for you. But the other packs I have bought in the past were almost half the size. And I think you got like six or eight carrots, I'm not 100% sure, but they are half the size of these carrots. These make such cute decor pieces. You can make different garlands with these if you want. You can stack them on top of each other like that and put like a little bunny. Like, let me see if I can demonstrate right here. So you can take some of your carrots, you can say, pretend this is a rabbit, okay? Not a rabbit, just pretend. But how cute would that be? Put maybe some greenery around there. Um, or you can have it like a rabbit holding it or something. But I think these are really, really cute. So I did pick up one pack of these. And these do tend to go quick. Um, stuff like this. So if you see it, snatch it up. I know it's still just January. But, you know, if you've been shopping at the Dollar Tree, if you don't grab it when you see it, don't plan on ever seeing it again. Um... This Jumbo Craft Heart, this thing is ginormous. So I just picked up one and I said, well, I told myself, I'm like, what are you going to do with this, Jenny? And I answered, I don't know, but I bought it. And what would you do with this huge styrofoam heart? What? Would you color it? Would you put a bunch of fake flowers on it? I honestly don't, don't know, but I have it when I do think of something. You never know, just being honest. Their Crafter Square vinyl paper. I have bought the other colors in the past, still haven't used them. I've been seeing mixed reviews on them. Like they do work, they don't work, they're cheap, they tear, they work great. I think it just depends who's reviewing it, who's using it, or how you're using it. But they had some really cool new colors. I didn't buy all of them. Um, but these are the, wait, am I missing one? Oh yeah, I'm missing one. Oh, oh well, I'll show you these three. I could have swore I bought another one, but I could be wrong. But this is the vinyl paper. And it's a 12 inch by 48 inch. And it's a rainbow color. 
I am going to open this and get a better look. And I have noticed at a few of my Dollar Trees that they have been putting this kind of stuff on end caps. So always be sure you check your entire store on all the end caps. Because you might not just find this over by the arts and crafts. You could find it over there by the pots and pans. Do they have pots and pans? No, they don't. Yeah, they do. They have pans, not pots. Okay, but you get the grip. But look at that. If anything, you could even probably stick this to a poster board and put a few poster boards together. Or just stick it to your back wall if you want to have a rainbow back wall or whatever. But yeah, you could put this on poster board, glue them together, tape them together, and use it for different backgrounds if you want. If you do videos or arts and crafts or stuff like that. So you don't have to... Oh, I don't have a Cricut. I don't need this. No, you don't have to have a Cricut. You can even cut it with your own scissors and do whatever. Because I think it sticks, does it? I haven't even tried to use this kind of stuff. Yeah, it's sticky. Okay. Now, just trying to give you ideas on how to use these items in a different way. And then they have this beautiful teal color. This was one of my dad's favorite colors. And I bought one of the glitter paper and is it the same length as that yeah open and they also had it in purple and pink and some other colors but I think this I thought this blue was really cool so about that so yeah I don't know about you but I cannot see at night when I'm driving I don't like driving at night anymore so I found these night vision glasses, clear vision, nighttime driving. Um, it's UV protection and multi-purpose. They had it in a few different colors. I picked up the white and I honestly don't know if these will work. I did have a prescription eyeglass I got years and years ago that's supposed to help me at night. I mean, it didn't do nothing. Waste of money. So... It's dirty and scrap. Ooh, might be a little too. Wow. Now, everything is yellow. How is this going to help me drive at night? I feel like, I don't know. <laughs> Peggy Sue. Who knows what show I'm talking about? Peggy Sue. Hey, Peggy Sue. Those are really scratched up. So I would say double check your lenses before you buy them because that is completely, I don't know if you can see it, those are scratched so I can't wear those. I can't. That, that big scratch would drive me nuts. But do these really work? Please let me know if you've tried these. Do they really help you see at night? Because all the lights are real blurry and when the, the, the traffic lights, it's just, oh, it's horrible. Yeah, and when it's raining or snowing at night, oh, that's just a double whammy right there. Um, they have these over there by the here. Their stickers um, in their craft aisle. These are by Crafter Square, and these are decorative stickers. So you get one sheet. So the first sheet, you get five different ones, and these are all the different sayings that they have. And they're done in black and pink. The other one has five as well. So you have this one. Now these could go on mirrors. They can go on picture frames. They can go on your wall. They can put them on your laptop and your phone. And then this one was my favorite one. And again, you get five. So there's the front of that one. And then on the back, you'll see all the different ones you can choose from. And I'm sure you can probably stick these to wood as well. I'm going to go ahead and open one. And I'm just going to see how... Okay, so this is what it looks like opened. So let me just try to peel one off. Okay, they peel off. They're not ungodly sticky but then I just put my thumbprint on the coffee. I don't know. I think they're cute. I'm gonna try them out. See how I like them. Um, I thought these were really cute. They have the matching hand towels 
and oven mitts, but I don't use the oven mitts and I don't really care for their towels because it's polyester and it snags on my hands and I don't like that feeling. But I did buy their um, pot holders. You get two per pack. Now they have these that have cats or dogs. And of course I bought the dogs. It says, if my dog was my boss, my life would be perfect. And it says, woof, woof. Get some doggies on there. I love their oven mitts. They're nice and thin. You can grab your stuff that you need to out of the oven without dropping it, I guess. And then I picked up a placemat. Now I like to use these when I do crafts, if I'm painting, especially when I'm painting or using glue. I use um, their placemats instead of getting a cutting board or a piece of cardboard. These are really, really nice to have on hand if you do crafts or if you have little ones that do crafts, just stick this right underneath what they're doing and you can wipe it off and if it gets really bad, you can just throw it away if you want to. But this is why I like to have these kind of things on hand and these are 12 inch by 18 and it is 100% poly, I don't know, it just says poly. Poly? Okay, poly, is that what it's called? Okay, they have a few different ones of these. I don't know if they're repeats from last year. I don't know, but it's just a mirror. And I absolutely dislike the color. And these are real easy to paint. And I think you can pop, I don't know if you can pop the glass out of this one. I know in the past I could. But if not, just use some painter's tape, masking tape, cover it up, and then you can spray paint this whatever you want. And you can make a really cool um, thing on your wall using different um, shapes and sizes of these. So, I don't know. I'm going to try it. I only bought one because I didn't want to buy a bunch of them spraying them. I really don't like it. So, I'm going to try it with one. They have some name brand socks at the Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up the Mossy Oak Lightweight Over the Calf. And it's a size large. These felt really soft. They had some other ones, but they were, felt kind of thin. But this is Moisture Wicking Arch Support for $1.25. I gotta stop saying that. So, picked up a pair of those. And then they had a pack of two of these Smart Basic Game Socks. Arch Support Cushion Comfort Spandex for Better fit. Size is 6 to 12. I'll see if my son will wear these. He's a huge gamer. That's all he ever does anymore. Um, so yeah, you get two pair. Yeah, got those. And I bought a couple of more shirts there at the Dollar Tree. They've been really carrying some amazing shirts lately. Um, this is a size extra large. It's a long sleeve t-shirt, but it's like the tri-blend I kind of like call it like the baseball shirt, kind of. And it's really lightweight, really, really soft. They had it in so many different colors. This is black and white. So yeah, picked up one of those. Always be sure there's no holes or tears or um, stains on them before you purchase them. And then we went ahead and picked up one of these. And this is an extra large adult dry blend t-shirt, moisture wicking. And this is more of a gray blue color, short sleeve. So these are always nice to have on hand if you like to wear them underneath sweatshirts or um, other shirts, or if you do yard work or whatever, and you don't want to ruin one of your good t-shirts. This is a perfect way to have a bunch of these on hand so they don't ruin and stink up their good shirts when they're out doing yard work. Um, I thought these were so cute. They had these around Thanksgiving, I think it was Thanksgiving, and different characters, but now they have them out for Valentine's. But these characters can be all year round. These are finger puppet kits. Look how cute these are. So again, you get five of them. Those are all the characters you get. You get all the supplies that you need besides the glue. So I think these would be really cute to do with your little ones or if you have a daycare or if you're a teacher. These are just so cute. I remember making stuff like this back when I was in um, Bible school. 
and we would make uh, finger puppets, you know, the three, three wise men and all that. And we would put them on their fingers and do a little show. I, I just, oh, okay, that was what, 40 years ago? But yeah, I think that was really cute. I'll have to open those up and do those. And if I can remember, I will do it before I upload this and show you what they look like. Um, a few other items I will share with you in this video and then I will be all done. They have some really cool card games in the toy department. And sometimes you can look out and get name brand ones or decent made kind. And I think this is uh, some of them. This is Games Hub Classic Card Games, ages six and up. So we have um, Fish, which I'm assuming it's like Go Fish, and then Snap. I don't know what Snap is. I'm not quite sure. And it says, how many players? It doesn't say, it just says ages six and up. But it does give you the directions, give you an idea how to do that. And then the other one, they have Happy Families, which is a different game. And then Old Maid. Of course, I think we've all played Old Maid. And uh, yeah, Old Maid, I would always cry if I ended up with the old maid. Yeah, so did my son. I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to open one. I am going to open one because I want to see the quality of these cards because I have bought cards in the past there and they are really like thin and bendy and eh. so I just want to see the quality of these. And I'm always honest on what I think. They're not, they're not bad, but they're not the best. Oh my gosh, I just have like a deja vu feeling. Ooh, that's weird. I don't like that. But look at that. That is really weird. So that is that. Have you ever had that deja vu feeling? It's like creepy. Oh my gosh. That really made me feel weird. Yeah, I don't like that. Oh, cruddy. That cards just flew out of my hand. I mean, I bought better cards there, but, you know, these aren't bad. These are really good to have in your camper, your RV, grandma's house. Um, when my kids were younger, we would always get little containers and put, like, a coloring book, some crayons, card game little travel games and put it in their little container and that's what they would keep with them in the car, in the hotel, or the condo, wherever we're going. So I mean this kind of stuff is nice to have on hand just to, you know, have on a rainy day or if you're stuck somewhere. Um, these are a couple of makeup brushes from the company Ani. They've been carrying so many items from there besides just their eyelashes and glue. So we have the highlight brush Perfect for highlighting, contouring, and setting makeup. So there's that one. And then they have the eyeshadow round blended brush, a soft fluffy brush to blend for a sheer, a sheer, sheer, a sheer and natural finish. Hmm. I'm just gonna open one of these and just take a feel. Ooh, that's really soft. Wow. Really soft. It's nice. So yeah, give those to my daughter. And the last item I picked up, which I really needed a size large, and I picked up a medium. These are their wipeout heavy duty latex cleaning gloves. Now, if you are allergic to latex or anything like that, stay away from these. Um, these are flock lined, and it has a nice grip. Um, Anti-slip grip, comfort lined, reusable. Okay, we are gonna try to open this without cutting my gloves. Because I have noticed, since I've been getting older, when I use any kind of, even uh, like glass cleaner or pledge, my hands get so dry, like they're already dry from touching all these boxes and containers. I mean, it's icky. Okay, it smells like a balloon, typical, like color. I, I guess medium does fit me. I just have, I have really big hands. But that, I mean, I don't know why you would need grips on the back of your fingertips, but 
I guess you're going for the reptile look. I guess that is a perfect fit. So, yeah, not bad. I'll definitely use those. So that is everything that I bought at my Dollar Tree. So I hope I was able to show you something that maybe you can go find at one of your local stores. So if you really enjoyed this video, I would love for you to hit that like comment or like button. And if you like to comment and let me know what you liked out of this haul and hoping that you can find, like I said, comment down below. And as always, I want to say thank you for always taking the time out of your day to stop and watch my videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, safe day. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Keep smiling. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>